Tinapay mula sa langit A Daily Morning Devotion with CRC Family Isang mapagpalang umaga kapatid, ako po si Abigail Pron ng CRC Kalabanga. Samahan niyo po kami sa ating programang Tinapay Mula sa Langit, ang pang-araw-araw nating devotion sa Salita ng Diyos. Ngayong umaga ay matutunghayan natin ang Book of Numbers chapter 32 verses 25 to 27 na pinamagatang The Tribal Leaders of Reuben and God Agree. Ngunit bago po tayo magpatuloy, tayo'y dumako sa maikling panalangin. Father God, we thank Thank you and praise you for today. We can hear and receive your words once again. May your Holy Spirit guide us and give us wisdom to understand your word and learn from it. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Atin pong basahin ang Numbers chapter 32 verses 25 to 27. Verse 25, The Gadites and Rubenites said to Moses, We your servants will do as our Lord commands. Verse 26, Our children and wives, our flocks and herds will remain here in the cities of Gilead. Verse 27, But your servants, every man who is armed for battle, will cross over to fight before the Lord, just as our Lord says. Pagpalain ang pagkabasa ng salita ng Diyos. The tribes of Reuben and God deeply wanted to settle in the land of Gilead, east of the Jordan River, because it was suitable for their large herds. of livestock. Moses initially worried that their request would discourage the rest of the Israelites from entering the promised land. Matapos mabigo ang kanilang unang pakikipag-usap kay Moses, ay Eleazar na pari at sa iba pang mga pinuno, muli silang lumapit kay Moses. Sa pagkakataong ito, isinaalang-alang ni Moses ang kanilang kahilingan at binigyan sila ng mga kondisyon. So, they sought ways to meet these conditions, put all their resources of knowledge, experience, and their tribe into determining the things that shall be done. Until then, Moses agreed to their request on the condition that their warriors would first help the other tribes conquer the land west of the Jordan. In the context we read, Gadites and Rubenites with heartfelt agreement agreed, accepted, and committed to the conditions set by Moses. Specifically, they promised to follow Moses' commands, leave families and livestock in Gilead, and participate in battle. A heartfelt agreement or mutual understanding between the Gadites and Rubenites help them prepare to face the challenges ahead. As Christians, we must practice heartfelt agreement in everyday life for the greater cause. What are the appropriate attitudes and actions of a heartfelt agreement that we as Christians can learn from the Gadites and Rubenites? Numbers 32 verses 25 to 27 demonstrates three remarkable attitudes and actions that we Christians may learn from the heartfelt agreement of the Gadites and Rubenites, that by the end of the agreement time, we know what we had to take. The first remarkable attitude in action was in verse 25, simply we must have a clear confession of the need to God, meaning we are ready to hear audible word, not afraid of the truth, not afraid of the problem. With this attitude in action, the two tribes easily acknowledged Moses' authority and pledged to obey his instructions. The leaders of Reuben and God respond to Moses, saying they will do as he has asked. Your servants will do as my Lord commands. And then the second remarkable attitude in action was in verse 26, simply, we must have a concern for the need to God, meaning we are physically moved for the need and physically feel the presence of the need. These are the reason why both agreed to leave their families, livestock, and possessions in the cities of Gilead while they fulfilled their commitment. Our children, our wives, our flocks, and all our livestock shall remain there in the cities of Gilead. And the third remarkable attitude in action was in verse 27. Simply, we must have a commitment by coming with a need to God. Simply means that we must express humility to God, offer our confession of promise to God, we must claim God's promise, and present our possession to God. The two tribes are fully prepared and willing to follow and obey, sacrifice, and commit. They promised to send their armed men to cross the Jordan River and help the other Israelites fight to conquer the promised land before returning to settle in Gilead. But your servants, every man armed for war, will cross over to fight before the Lord 
just as my Lord says. So, both tribes shared the common feature of settling in Gilead and were crucial in the defense and military efforts of Israel. And all of this started with a heartfelt agreement between the two tribes. Therefore, the heartfelt agreement of the Gadites and Rubenites led them to agree to do what Moses asked in exchange for being allowed to settle in the land they desired. There are four good things to know why heartfelt agreement is important. First, it makes us wait. Second, it clarifies our vision. Third, it quiets our hearts. And fourth, it activates our faith. Thus, the heartfelt agreement of the two tribes teaches us the importance of obedience, sacrifice, and unity for a greater cause. They demonstrated clear confession, concern, and commitment to God, setting an example for us to follow in our own spiritual journeys. By embracing these attitudes, we can deepen our faith and strengthen our resolve to fulfill God's purposes in our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the lessons we have learned from the heartfelt agreement of Gadites and Rubenites. Help us to practice obedience, sacrifice, and unity in our own lives. Guide us with your Holy Spirit to confess our needs clearly, to show genuine concern for your will, and to commit wholeheartedly to your plans. Strengthen our faith and lead us in your ways. Thank you, Lord. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikibahagi sa ating programa. Lagi po nating pagnilayan ang salita ng Diyos mula sa ating puso dahil lubos ang magiging kaunawaan natin dito. Muli po ninyo kaming samahan bukas sa pagninilay ng kanyang mga salita dito sa programang Tinapay Mula sa Langit. Malaya po ninyong ishare ang video na ito upang kayo rin ay maging pagpapala sa iba. Pagpalain po tayong lahat ng ating Panginoon. Magandang umaga.